I'm going to start clearing out the spare room today. Take a look. See if there's anything you want to keep. Use your discretion. I'm going to be ruthless. I trust you. Yeah, well, it should be ready for you to paint by the weekend. Oh, great. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Duckling down or dandelion? Can't see any difference. One's much yellower than the other. Ah, dandelion. Yeah, but I think the other one's softer, isn't it? It's more calming. Duckling down, then. Look, I've got to go. New girl starts today. Yeah, well, I hope she takes the pressure off you a bit. Yeah, so do I. So much to do. There's plenty of time, darling. Eight weeks. It's ages. I want everything perfect before the baby arrives. You really should keep off your feet as much as possible, you know? I won't be able to relax until everything's in order. Yeah, I suppose that means I won't either. You've got it in one. Have a good day, love. Kate, mm -hmm. don't overdo it, yeah? Mm -hmm. See you later. Mm -hmm. Bye. What in the sandwiches? Ham. Cheese. Surprise me. <laughs> there you go. Look, Dad. Oh, very nice. Look, Mel. That's gorgeous, Becky. We've made some special ones for the wedding. They're picking white. Well, I hope there's one for me. Do you want one? Definitely. I can't be upstaged by me bridesmaids, can I? OK, I'll make you one. Come and give us a hand with the lunch boxes, love. Oh, Mum. Please, or we're going to be late. You OK? What am I going to come after wedding? I don't know. Do I have to call her Mum? No, not if you don't want to. I think you should call her whatever you feel happy with. But you don't have to decide now. We can have a bit of a chat about it, eh? Very impressive. Thank you. Just make sure you chain it up. Things have a habit of going walkies around here. Well, there's just one small problem, Ben. What's that? Well, I put you on home visits this morning. Oh, you're kidding. And I don't know how I'm going to get you from one side of Leatherbridge to the other on your bike with your bag. I thought I was doing surgery. Yeah, well, it's all change. Mac wants to be here to welcome a new doctor. Oh, look, I'm going to have to go back and get my car. It's OK. You can use mine. Are you sure? You're over 25, aren't you? Oh, just. <sighs> I'm coming back as a landscape gardener. Or a florist, anything but a GP. Well, don't disillusion me. Look, where's Mac? Well, it's not going to look very good if the new doctor arrives before he does. There's no point giving her a false impression. She might as well know what she's letting herself in for. Overwork, inefficiency. Inefficiency? Half my test results aren't back yet. Hello. Ben. Deep breaths. I think you should take up yoga or something. Release some of this tension. What's that? Test results. New system, remember? Thanks, Katrina. Morning. Morning, Jeff. I'm going to start giving out late cards. Three strikes and you're out. It's not my fault. The traffic was a nightmare. Maybe I should try cycling. Are you going to wear that all day? I've got a change of clothing in my bag. Shame. His lunchbox. The handle's broken off. Holly? She threw it at someone on the bus. What? Those girls in year nine were teasing her again. They asked for it. It wasn't her fault. It's her that's going to get into trouble, though, isn't it? Do you think it would help if I drove you to school? They'll tease her at dinner time instead. I'm going to have a word. No, don't. It'll only make them worse. She's going to have to try and ignore them. They'll soon get bored if they don't get a reaction. Why do they do it, Mum? Oh, because they can. Because they need to get a life. Because they don't know how lucky they are. Mr Lighton's new knee's giving him jip. Mr Smith's lost a prescription and you've got two DMVs that need visiting. Well, that's something to look forward to. Mm. How's the new flat? Oh, heaven. Peace and quiet and I can leave the washing up for as long as I want. 
Sorry, sorry, this morning I had to make a critical decision. And what's that, then? Dandelion or duckling down. Almost invisible to the naked eye, but apparently there really is a difference. Sorry? Oops, sorry, thank you. It's a uh, paint for the nursery. Kate wants it done by next week. Oh. I told her, just bang him in the bottom drawer of the dresser. Won't know any difference. She wouldn't have it. Mm. The nesting phase, I remember it well. She started ironing your underpants yet? She always has. I wouldn't be the same without knife-edge creases down the front. <laughs> That's for you. I'm so sorry I'm late. The journey took a bit longer than I thought. Well, surgery doesn't start for another ten minutes. Just take a seat. Uh, I was told to be here for 8.15. Chuch Carlyle? Jude, hello. Hi. Welcome to Riverside. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's OK. No, no, forgive me. Blame it on impending fatherhood. Welcome to Riverside. Thanks. Let me introduce everyone. Mac, you obviously met at the interview. Oh, yeah? This is Faith, our practice nurse. Hello. Ben, who joined us as a locum about six weeks ago. Uh, I'll show you the ropes. Oh, good. And <laughs> Katrina, our receptionist. Hello. I've only done you a few light bookings, just to break you in gently. That's great. Well, it's really good to meet you all. I'll try and get that job finished today, get the invoice in. What are you up to? Oh, uh, I've got a big shop to do and um, I might go to the gym. you better get a move on. Haven't you forgotten something? Now go. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Be good, girls. Bye. Bye. Right, are you ready? Yep. Becky? Can I stay home with you today? I don't feel well. Don't worry about the girls on the bus, Becky. You'll be all right. I won't let them near you. I don't to go. Just try and ignore them, love. They're stupid. Of course they are. Are you sure it wouldn't help if I came with you? It's OK, Mum. We can handle it, can't we? Come on. Try and look a bit more relaxed. That's better. Ta. It's for new patients. They like to put a face to a name. Makes them feel more at ease. You can't see a football as something I would have thought of myself. Oh, it's one of a number of new changes I've introduced. Well, this surgery was in a right mess when I arrived. Uh, so I've had to introduce a few new ground rules. Cool. The most important thing is not to overrun your appointments. Well, that's where the real chaos lies. I mean, I know some doctors like a natter and, well, they forget to look at the clock and things like that. Katrina, do you know what I think the biggest problem with the NHS is? Even more than lack of funding? No. Lack of time. Most misdiagnoses are made because doctors are pushing to get through their patient list. Now, the way I see it, Every person that walks through that door deserves my undivided attention for as long as they need it. Right. So my appointments take as long as they take. Fair enough. Oh, and another thing. Where's a good place to have lunch around here? Just something casual. Oh. I'm meeting my girlfriend. Well, there's a pub around the corner. The food's good and it's not expensive. Great. Sounds perfect. So how are the wedding plans? <sighs> I can't believe it's only two weeks away. There's still so much to do. <laughs> I can imagine. There you go. It's another six months supply. Oh, thanks. The last thing we need at the moment is any little surprises. Yeah. Something else? Yeah, yeah, it, it's Becky. I'm really worried about her. It, she's been picked on at school and she's not handling it very well. She tried to get out of going this morning. Doesn't sound like her. 
I thought she was settling in really well, really happy. Well, she's usually so placid, but she threw a lunchbox at somebody yesterday. And Holly says it's not the first time she's got into a scrap lately. Does Colin know about this? Not yet. Uh, I haven't told him. <sighs> you know what he's like, Mac. He finds it hard to talk about anything to do with Becky. He's coped with Becky on his own ever since Alison died. I suppose he's just got used to doing everything by himself. But we've been together a year and a half now. I just wish he'd trust me more. I mean, if I had problems with Holly, I'd like him to help. Well, of course, but it is a bit different with Becky, don't you think? I just feel he doesn't think I'm up to it. And maybe he's right. Don't get me wrong, Mac. I love Becky, but sometimes I, I wonder if I'm strong enough to be a good parent to her. You wouldn't believe what I've been through trying to keep it from him. I mean, he's convinced I'll only do it with the lights off. Thing is, things are getting a bit serious and I reckon he's going to propose. But it's a jealous type, you see, and if he sees it, he's going to go ape. Well, let's have a look then. Sid. Who's Sid? I know you're trying to protect Colin, but I think you owe it to him to tell him what's been happening. You'd be devastated. Well, at least he's not going to have to face it on his own anymore, is he? He and I talked a lot before he decided to send Becky to an ordinary school. And he always knew that there's a chance she would get bullied. I don't know what we're going to do about it. The truth is, Mel, it is not always going to be plain sailing with Becky. You know as well as I do that it's hard enough to bring up a child without special needs. But come on. Colin would not have asked you to marry him if he didn't think you were up to it, would he? Hmm? Hi, there's Beck. Hello, <laughs> Beck. What's with the shoes? Look at the skirt. Look at the tie. Hair. Yeah. Just stop it. Oh, my yeah. Yeah. What is Becky, you're hurting me. <sighs> Sir, she just pushed me up the wall for no reason. You lot. Teachers. Now then. What's it all about? Me, sir. We're not picking right. on us, sir. All right, what happened? So what's your new bloke called? Trevor. Ah, I can see your problem. But tattoo removal is painful, not to mention expensive. And you still might be left with scars. Well, that's nothing compared to what Trevor will do if he sees it. I've got a better suggestion. What? Get yourself down to a tattoo parlour and get them to change the wording. This side up. <laughs> I like it. Why don't you let me buy you lunch? Make up for my faux pas this morning. Actually, I'm already meeting someone, but thanks. Maybe tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, good. Okay. Good. Look, um, I'm gonna pop back and see Kate for half an hour. See if I can lend a hand. Okay. Anyone needs me, I'm on the mobile. She pushed someone against a wall and they got hurt. Well, look, don't, don't worry about it, love. Everything's going to be fine, OK? Yeah? Come through. Good girl, we won't be long. Now... I want you to understand, I'm not blaming Becky for this incident. She was provoked. It's not the first time either. There's been trouble on the bus. What? Why didn't you say? I was going to. I didn't want to worry you. The girls involved will be dealt with. I've got zero tolerance on bullying. But it's really not like her. Is there... Is there something bothering her? Is there something going on at home which... Um, might explain her anger. You don't think being bullied is enough? Uh, no, no, not at all. But <sighs> Becky's always been so placid in the past. I just wondered if there was something that had triggered it. Not that I can think of. I mean, Colin and I are getting married in a fortnight, but she's really looking forward to it. You know how proud we are to have Becky here. She's doing well. She's a bright girl. Yeah, but... If this sort of thing carries on, someone might get badly hurt. 
it's not a risk I can afford to take. What are you saying? That Becky might have to leave because some people can't cope with who she is? Not necessarily, but um, we might have to think again about what's best for Becky. Did you ask her if she's taking her tablets? She's lost them. If she feels giddy, tell her to sit down till I get there. I'll get there as quickly as I can. I don't know. Five minutes, yeah? Yeah, bye. Oh. Thought we might take our bikes to the park later. Good and ice cream. Would you like that? Why don't you go upstairs and get changed? I'll make you a cup of tea. OK. Seriously, Sid, right across her hip in big black letters. Well, I think tattoos are really sexy. Why don't you get them? Yeah, you first, then I might think about it. Chicken. No, not a chicken. Maybe a hummingbird. <laughs> Room for a small one. So... When Alison and I were looking at schools for Becky, we thought it would be best to send her to an ordinary school. We wanted her to, to have as normal a life as possible, to be treated normally. What any parents would want for their children. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and before I sent her to secondary school, I had to go through the whole process again, except it was much harder because I... I didn't have Alison. Anyway, I was told about this school for kids like Becky with fantastic facilities, great teachers. The only problem was she'd have to board. Just come home at the weekends and... I couldn't do it. What would Alison think? It's OK for you to talk to me about her, you know. She was your wife. You loved her. I do understand that, Colin. The last two receptionists were total airheads. I've had to get tough. You wouldn't believe how flaky some doctors can be. For they walk around with their head in the clouds. I think you'll find Jude's on the case. I wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating biscuits, would you? No. I'd kick him out for being a bloke. Sorry? I don't do men. All oh, right. I don't know what that is right now. Maybe I made the wrong decision. Maybe she'd be better off at another school. School that can cope with her needs. People aren't going to pick on her because she's different to her. <laughs> I'm going to miss you when you go away. You'll have all your new workmates to have a laugh with. Mm. But I bet none of them as much fun as you. work out at St Joseph's. The thing is, it's not something you have to decide on your own anymore. I am going to be Becky's stepmom in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know I think you're amazing. <laughs> I've got a confession to make. I went to see Dr Maguire this morning to pick up a prescription, but really to talk about Becky. And, well, I know he's been a confidant for you, and maybe he could help with this. Perhaps you should talk to him. She dropped her blood pressure tablets behind the sofa. Ah, that old trick. Sorry? Well, I think Mrs Pencombe's emergencies have got rather less to do with her blood pressure than her appreciation of younger men. I'm flattered. I think. <laughs> Mag. Oh, Colin. Is there any chance of a word? Of course, yeah. Come through.
Becky, love, I've brought you a cup of tea. I thought we could have a chat. Becky? I'm not sure what's for the best anymore. I, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Are you getting cold feet about the wedding? Well, it's a big responsibility for Mel taking Becky on. She can handle him. Well, what about Holly? You know, it's not going to be easy for her. She, she's been fantastic, but she's got needs too. Well, from what I've seen of Holly, she's handled it pretty well so far. Becky and I, we've been together for a long time. And... You should never be afraid to move on. Yeah, I know, I know. Mel says she wants to share the responsibility with me, and I don't know that it's fair on her. Well, I think you underestimate her. She agreed to marry, she knows what she's taking on. Besides, it'd be damn sight fairer than dumping her two weeks before the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. Mel? You're kidding. No, I, I'll be right there. It's Becky, she's gone. Mel says she can't find her anywhere. Sorry, Katrina, gotta go out. But afternoon surgery's in five minutes. Do you want the bad news? Hit me with it. You're gonna have to stand in for Max this afternoon. Oh, well, you know what they say. In at the deep end. Yeah, I was right. I knew she'd be here. She likes to bring flowers sometimes. Becky? You all right? Why'd you run off like that? Mel's worried sick. You're going to me away. Did you hear us talking? You're going to me away to that school. You don't want me anymore, do you? <sighs> of course we do, sweetheart. We want you very much. We love you. One day, St. Joseph's. Yeah, I know. I know, and I want you to stay there too. But you can't if you keep on getting into trouble, Bex. We've got to sort it out. We've got to know what the problem is. Is there something the matter? Is it those girls at school? Because all that's going to stop now, Mrs Jones said so. I don't so. care about them. So what's wrong? Nothing. Bex? You remember that time you and your dad came to the surgery for flu jabs? And your lady went home with stitches. And while your dad was with the nurse, we hid. And when he came out, did he jump or what? He hit his head on that door. <laughs> <laughs> but I bunched it up for him. I know, and you did a great job. Didn't have to go back to the nurse, did he? You've always looked after your dad, haven't you? Well, now, he wants to look after you. He wants to know why you're unhappy. If there's anything wrong, you have to tell us. There is nothing we can't sort out, I promise. We have always been able to talk, haven't we? We're worried about Mum. Yeah. Why? Will she mind if I love Mel? And if I call her Mum, do want her to be sad? She won't be sad. She'll be happy. She'll be happy because you and Dad are happy. That's what she'd want. Look, Mel's a really good person. She'd make a great job of looking after you. And if your mum knew her, she'd like her a lot. I won't forget her, though. Of course not. I know that. And she knows that, too. I should have realised. Well, she was very close to Alice, and I suppose she felt she couldn't talk to you and Mel so soon before the marriage, yeah? Yeah. 
Well, hopefully she'll be able to take things in her stride now we've reassured her. Yeah, I'd better cope. She's a strong little character, thanks to you. Mel will cope, too. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mac, again. You've been there for me so many times. Oh, come on, you do the same. We're supposed to be mates, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. It's all very well, turning up just as the last patient's gone. Thank you for stepping into the breach. Oh, it was better than sitting there twiddling my thumbs. So look, while you're here, can, can you smile for the camera? It's for the notice board. You've already got a photograph. Yeah, well, it's slightly out of date. I mean, no one would recognise you. I haven't changed that much in two years, have I? Don't answer that. Come on, say cheese. Cheese. Mine's terrible. You've got to do it again. No, 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 it's fine. Look, a double chin. Well, there's not much I can do about that. Oh, thanks very much. If you've all finished, I think we should go for a drink. On me. Excellent. Yeah, Jude deserves a proper welcome. I'm up for that. Excellent. I'll see you around the corner in ten minutes. I'll call Kate and tell her I'm going to be late. Call Kate. Hello. I'm afraid there's no one available to take your call. Please leave your name, number, and a short message, and we'll get back to you. Thank you for calling. Kate, look, you're either at the dump or spending money. I'm just popping out for a drink to welcome Jude. Shouldn't be long. Take care. I started off in surgery, but it wasn't my scene. Cutting people up at the first opportunity. Well, I love it at Riverside. I'm quite glad I had a bottle to make the change. So do you reckon you'll stick around? Do you reckon we'll you? Then listen, uh, I've got some juicy gossip. How juicy? About as juicy as it gets. Yeah. Well, I think she's... Uh, look, I'm going to have to love you and leave you, but uh, now that we're all together, can I just say a few words? It's been a tricky few months, and we've all got through that. And I think that... Um, I think we really are a crack team now, yeah? So, if you'll all raise your glasses, please, to our latest arrival, to Jude. 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 Welcome. Well, that was nice. Well, I just thought that a bit of a, a pep talk was in order. A bit of a morale booster. I think she's going to be very good. I just can't get over how young she looks. A sign of old age, that, Mac. Thank you very much. Right, I'm off. Do you want a lift? No, fine. A couple of glasses, that's all. Yeah, very big glasses. New baby. Losing my licence. You're quite right. Hmm. Go on, now. Bye. Bye, mate. Bye. See you tomorrow. Just look at the paint chart and tell us she's made the right choice. Kate? Call an ambulance. 